My name is John Sears. I'm the lean coordinator for the Vermont Department of Environmental Conservation. And today I'm going to show you a very simple Power Automate script and how we can automate a weekly report. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And I'll go ahead and start by showing you the setup. So in Microsoft Teams, I've built a very simple folder architecture. The weekly report lives right here in this weekly report folder. It has a couple of essential elements in the template folder. We have the template. This is where any version of a template that you're going to use will live. And then over here in the weekly report, we also have an archive location. So that's where we're going to be storing our weekly reports for auditing purposes. So that's basically all there is to set up. All you need is a template located in one directory and a location for the document to live, which will live in another directory. So once we have that, we can go ahead and take a look at the Power Automate script itself. It's fairly straightforward. And we'll go ahead and walk through it. So it starts with a recurrence. This runs once a week. It's a weekly report. So it makes sense that it would run weekly. In this case, we're running it at 4 p.m. every Tuesday. And it begins with the copy file. So we go ahead and we take that template that we've saved and we're automatically going to copy it up a level into that folder we just took a look at. Once that copy has been done, we're going to start and wait for an approval. So this is where we can choose who is submitting information to the report. Um, we can indicate any number of people. And we have it starting and waiting for an approval. And we've also set it up so that it's approve, reject, everyone must approve. So this is how we know that everyone that we have submitting information to our report is doing it. They all have to go through the process in order for it to be approved. Once we've done that, we have a second approval step where the owner of the document, in this case it's listed as myself, gets a chance to review the document. Again, this will wait for their approval. So these can take anywhere up to 30 days, but obviously these are weekly reports, so we're talking on the order of hours to days between when the approval phase starts and when it ends. And we'll be taking a look at what that approval looks like. Then, once that second approval is done, we're going to go ahead and archive the finished document because it's been approved by the reviewer. So we have to get the file content first so that we're making sure we're getting the right file. And then we're going to be creating the duplicate with a file name that we're creating. In this case, it's a weekly with the date and time appended. And you can sort of see how we format that and finish it with a dot docx because it's a word document that we're working in and the file content is the body and then we wrap it up by sending an email in this case i have myself listed but this can go to anyone and we've added an attachment which is the file that we created so that's how we can go from a blank template document to a fully filled out weekly report that automatically gets submitted to the boss. So let's take a look at some of the elements that we work in. So after the template gets copied, we start an approval process. What does that approval process looks like? Well, there are actually two places it appears. So if you're the kind of person that likes to work in email, you can just wait to get an email. It looks like this. You can see the um, both rounds of the approval, both right now coming through me, but um, we'll ultimately go through other individuals. There's a link right here to the document. If we go ahead and click it, you'll see it takes us right to the report. Where we can go ahead and add any information or any changes that we want to see. And when we're done making those changes, we can go ahead and hit approve. Alternately, when the approval gets submitted, it's also submitted as a workflow. So 
these workflow approvals come right in here in the activities tab and you can sort of see a history of the approval process. You can kind of see my testing process as I work through it here. Um, but each time it will come in and log here until every individual has marked off that they've approved it. Once those are done, that second round comes. You can at any point open an approval by going ahead and um, you can access the original document here. But down here, you'll also have uh, accept reject options, which looks a little bit like this. So once you've made the request to changes, you go, go ahead and hit approve. And you'll mark yourself off. Once everyone's done, we move into that second phase of approvals. And you're all set. So that's really all there is to it. So thanks for this brief tutorial on using Power Automate and hopefully you've learned something about how to use the approvals process. And thank you so much. Have a great day.